Hey everyone, what's up? This is a Blue Shoes Productions tutorial on how to record anything you can see or hear on your computer or the internet, anything really. Um, you just want to be careful of these things because these type of things can get you in big trouble, copyright stuff, so make sure you're using it for the right thing and not the wrong thing. So first off, um, I'm going to search some random video on YouTube. Like, let's search that off. You know, the, I'm, I'm assuming everyone here, it's my favorite, so I favorite like two months ago. But I'm shooting everyone, or assuming everyone knows who this guy is. This Guitar 90 kid who has like 45 million views on his video. He's playing Canon. Um, he's actually pretty good if you hadn't seen him, checking him out. But right now it's starting to play. So what I'm going to do is, um, I have to go to Start, Run. I already have to type in SND, just go to Start, Run. SND REC 32 hit OK the pop up I usually you can that's fine to use but I usually use a program called audacity um, I'll try to post a, a link to the website where you can find it in the description but you can probably just search it on Google and find it but um, I think it works a lot better than sound recorder but um, I'll, I'll just use sound recorder for right now because I'm not doing this for audacity I'm doing it for sound recorder for anyone who doesn't have or scared to download audacity or something like that um, so you want to find the video then what you're gonna do is go to your volume controls hit open volume control ignore all this skip this go to properties and if for some reason recording is like gray and you can't select it it, it might it, if you're on a desktop it won't say this it'll say like HP Realtek audio output it, I think it should say that um, select that and click input instead it'll say like HP Realtek audio input instead so click that but I don't need to worry about that then you can click recording now that's enabled and um, select stereo mixer but once I do that it's gonna cut my microphone off and you won't be able to hear me so I'm gonna wait to do that you might not have stereo mixer on it I believe there's a guy named Jimmy Arcom, J I M M Y R C O M on YouTube. I'm basically following the same steps, so don't think that I'm just being a noob and copying his video. But he has a uh, in the description of his video, he has a way I think to get Stereo Mixer if you don't have it. Um, check that out, J I M M Y R C O M. I'll just put in the description. But so you want to find the video? For example, here's the video. So once I click my or once I select stereo mixer, it's gonna cut my voice out. I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna start recording this and start recording guitar. So here it goes. So now you have that recorded. Um, if you don't see the waves for some reason, these little you notice when I was recording, see these little waves. You'll see that when you're recording these things. If you don't see that for some reason, and you're positively sure that you did all the steps I just showed, then try turning the volume on the video up, because I, unlike other programs or unlike because this isn't normal audio recording, um, it's not like inputs and outputs. So I suggest like maybe. Uh, turn up the volume on the video all the way but just turn down your speaker so you don't hear it yourself but the computer can hear it if you understand what I'm saying just so later if you think it's too quiet you won't have to worry about that because it'll be full or full excuse me um like full sound volume or whatever it'll be up all the way you can just turn it down later so I suggest doing that now that I have this um if you listen you can hear it actually I guess you can't hear it now hold on So you noticed in the beginning it got like really it was really quiet and it got really loud. That's because when I turned up the volume. So just make sure you don't turn it up when you're recording. Um, so once you've done that, just go to your go to the sound recorder, click File, Save As, and then you just save it as a WAV. Um, and you can increase all the stuff here. You can actually reverse it, which is pretty cool if you're using a microphone like I am, and you record on sound recorder. You can reverse it. You can 
turn up the sound stuff or add echo or decrease the speed a bunch of cool stuff it sound you can make so like your voice sound like cool for videos whatever but um thanks for watching this has been a blue shoes productions tutorial on how to record any audio you see um on the on the web or on your computer even uh thanks for watching and i hope this helped please subscribe uh, see you later